times e to the mu nu e p prime times p prime u a nu plus a mu k prime nu minus a to the mu nu k k prime plus m mu squared. Now this 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 thing contracts in a very nice way because p prime u uh, sum with k prime lower mu is just p prime k prime. And similarly, you get pk and so forth. And when you do this, if I skip a step which is in the notes, you get a e to the fourth over, let me write it as p plus p prime to the fourth just to remind you. What you get is pk, p prime k prime plus k prime, p prime k, plus m mu squared, p p prime. So that's the, that's, that's what it boils down to. The next step is to pick, um, is to pick nice, uh, a nice coordinate system and the natural coordinate system for a process where you have uh, two particles of the same mass is the center of the mass system and the center of the momentum system. And so in that case you pick, and in fact these E plus E minus experiments are often done with colliding beams, so the center of mass, the center of momentum system is actually the lab frame. Uh, so P is then equal to E, the energy of the of each in initial particle, initial electron or positron, one Z hat. P prime is E times one minus Z hat. The final muon say is uh, E times well, one could say 1k hat, but it makes more sense to just say ek. And uh, k prime then is e minus k. And uh, k dot z hat is just length of k times cosine theta, k being the momentum of the point of view on and then you have the Minkowski product PK is the same thing as P prime K prime, and this is E squared minus EK cos theta. PK prime is the same thing as P prime K, and that is E squared plus EK cos theta. So these things are quite symmetrical. And this whole thing then up there is then equal to uh, eight e to the fourth over sixteen e to the fourth. The e's being different, of course. Uh, big E squared e minus k cos theta squared plus e squared e plus k cos theta squared plus 2m mu squared e squared. And it turns out that that can be remarkably simplified to just e to the fourth times 1 plus m mu squared over e squared plus 1 minus m mu squared over e squared times cosine squared of theta. Okay, so the whole thing is boiled down to an expression that's remarkably simple. Um, now the issue is uh, the whole, doing the whole, is, are there, is, do I owe chocolate to anybody? All right, the next thing, is to do the hocus pocus having to do with uh, going from the amplitude to the 
uh, cross section. It should be hyphenated, basically. All right, we want to go from S to P sigma D omega. Well, our S is I M times 2 pi to the fourth, delta fourth, and I'll do it for the particular process at hand, which is um, the most important case, where you have two particles going to two particles. First of all, we have to deal with the norms. Our states in Peskin Schroeder notation are 2 EP, a dagger of well, P and S on the back here, if you want it. And we remember the anti-commutation relations. AA dagger is 2 pi cubed delta cubed of P minus P prime. And so the actual norm, PP for a given S, is 2 EP pi cubed, because we need an A and an A dagger, delta cubed of zero, effectively. So this is the norm of these states. This is all in the, this is all the online tonight. Now what is delta cubed of zero? Well, delta cubed of P is integral d cubed P two pi cubed. This is once again, <coughs> Good old Mr. Barak. Whoops, well, it's dq x. Now, if you said p equal to 0, this is just the integral of 1, so this is just v over 2 pi cubed. So delta of 0 is effectively v over 2 pi cubed, so this is altogether 2ev. So the norms of one of our states is 2ev. And so the first thing to do is to convert these, the, the, the probability into a probability for unit norm states. So we're going to be dividing by the norm, one factor of this for each incoming particle and one factor of that for each outgoing particle. In this particular case, we have two in, two out. And so, so why don't we choose this weird normalization to begin with? Why didn't we choose the good one that gave well, us the... Yeah, well, because when you're dealing with the Feynman, I, when you're dealing with the Feynman diagrams, this Peskin-Schroeder notation is nice. And I have to admit that their, their Feynman diagram notation is nice. Um, their metric is better for particle physics. You avoid, you avoid eyes in the gamma matrices and um, the propagators look better, and P squared, which looks positive, is positive if it's on the mesh, and so forth. So there are good things about their notation. I even kind of like this. And um, all right, so we take S and we divide by the appropriate uh, norms, and so we get a probability. Our probability then is S squared divided by 2 e, uh, by, I'll just write it as the 2 EVs, all of them, for all the initial and final state particles. And this will turn out to be, of course, the M squared that we've been talking about, suitably summed and averaged. 2 pi to the fourth, delta fourth of incoming and outgoing momenta, but then it's going to be a second factor of 2 pi to the fourth delta. But 2 pi cubed delta cubed is just V, and 2 pi delta of E is just T. So this is just VT. What is T? The time, it's around 14 billion years. Um, in other words, it's the infinite time. We put the universe in a space-time box of size v length t. And then we're dividing by 2ev. Okay. And for 
this particular case, where we have four of them, we then have m squared, 2 pi to the fourth, delta fourth, I'll leave out the sums, vt over the two e's, v to the fourth. Well, obviously, the probability divided by t is the rate and so we get rid of the t, we cancel this, and this becomes a 3. The rate now is some sort of a, what I'll call a sigma tilde times a flux. The flux of incoming particles. And the flux is just v, the relative velocity, divided by the volume. All right. So now, our sigma tilde is then r over f, and this is then m squared. Let me follow the notes. 2 pi to the fourth delta 2 e's v v cubed, little v, v, because I've divided by f. And now, this v brings us down to v squared. What is little v the velocity of? Yeah. Little v is the relative velocity, and so in this case, little v is 2. Okay. V1 minus V2, and so I think it's 2. So it's the relative velocity of the two incoming particles in the center of momentum. Right, 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 right. And um, Anyway, let's get, let's get on with this. Um, now, this uh, sigma tilde, to get a real cross-section, we have to sum over the final states. Now remember, what, how, what, is, what are the final states? Well, you take the phase space volume, which is a volume and momentum space times a volume and position space, and you divide by Planck's constant cubed, and that gives you the number of states. Well, in natural units, when h bar is 1, uh, little h is 2 pi. 1 is h over 2 pi. Okay, so this then is Momentum volume, physical volume, divided by 2 pi q. Okay. So we multiply by them. And so, all right, let's, let me get rid of some of these. Uh, oh my god, we're at the end of the hour. Yeah. All right, well, I'll duplicate this at the beginning of the next hour. But since since we're at the, at the very end, let me just go maybe one minute over. So d sigma then is sigma tilde for the case of two outgoing particles, in this case d cubed kv over 2 pi cubed, d cubed k prime v over 2 pi cubed. And so altogether then it's m squared. Uh, over 2 pi to the 4, 2 pi squared. Uh, the product of the two e's, v, delta 4 of k plus k prime minus p minus p prime, d cubed k, d cubed k prime. And this corresponds to 4.79 in pest control. Notice what happens. The V's go away. If they were still there, we'd be very, very. 
Um, now, if we had done this more generally, again, for two particles in the initial state, which is almost always the case, we might have had a more complicated final state. In that case, we would have had to divide by as many of the two EVs as there are in the all, counting all the external lines, all the initial lines and all the final lines. But then, going, summing over final state particles, we would have to have more of these DQKVs and all the Vs would cancel. So that's basically uh, that, and I'll start next time at, at this point, and I'll, I'll just review this so that the person left doesn't miss anything. So we can turn this off.